Now, let's say you make a decision on the tee, which you've got to make a decision on the tee. Am I going to go for this green for two? Mm. Okay, now if you are going to go for this green for two, that brings this bunker into play, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, because now you've got to try to either drive it over here somewhere, yeah. reach it for two. But if you've decided that I'm not going to go for this green for two, and this is where you have to make a decision on the tee. Yeah. Not let's make your mind up when you get down there. If you're going to play it as a three shot par five, you play it as a three shot par five. You just hit a, you know, a 220 to here. Okay, and then you can hit another, you know, whatever, a 180, you know, 180 to there, leaving yourself that, you know, that 60. At 60 layout. There is absolutely no point if you're not going to go go on for three. You want to off the tee. You want to be able to play a green light shot. So off the tee, that needs to be your target area. The biggest margin for error: long, short, left and right. If you are going to go for two, this becomes your target area which is a much smaller target area. So, um, it's just, in, it, it, it's case, no wrong to here, yeah. but hazard, and then the left side has big bunker, yeah. but nothing to uh, second area. Yep. But little like still to 40, 230 to 40, but my three is uh, going to 25 to 25, yeah. to Maybe, yeah, downwind to 30. How about this? Still three shot? Oh, I'd still play it as a three shot. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you, because we're getting really good at this pitching now. Mm -hmm. This 40, mm -hmm. 50, 60. 60 meter pitching, you're getting so, really, really good yeah, at that. Yeah. I mean, you're, every time now you're landing it in that 10% barrier. You know, if you can land a 50 shot, two and a half, yards you know from your landing area you're always going to be inside 10 or 12 feet you know always the better you get at this the easier it is mentally to play the strategy this way but when you haven't got full confidence in your pitching and your mid-range putting you tend i'm saying normally what people do is they they try to force making birdie they hit their drive as far as they can and then they hit it as close to the green as possible and in doing that, that brings sometimes the sixes and sevens yeah. into play. You know, my favorite yardage is 60 and 70. Yeah. But, you know, like mostly par five, if not reachable par, make two on. Mm -hmm. um, maybe on, around 120 through 90 yard. Yeah. Yeah, mostly safe area yeah. to the par five in the golf course. So, but your 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 favourite is sixty, but you're still good at eighty and and one hundred. So the sixty, you're going to get that inside, mm -hmm. inside ten feet, mm -hmm. most times. Mm -hmm. Okay, because sixty, if you look at sixty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so ten percent mm -hmm. of sixty is six yards. So I've got ten percent. So I've got that six, uh, six yard area. Well, six yards means that it's three yards either side, so you're always in 10 feet. Okay, we're talking about where the ball lands. You have to predict what it's gonna do when it lands. So but when you get out to 80, yeah. now you're gonna be eight yards at 10%. Oh, okay. So now, now the putt on average is going to be longer. And when you get out to 100, now at 10 yards, so now your, your, your chances of making a birdie are reduced because your 10%, which is your standard distance from the pin on these distances, keeps on going, keeps on going out. You will average three yards from the pin yeah. from 60. Mm -hmm. Now when you're inside 10 feet, you have a much higher percentage of making putts. You'll hit some close ones from 80, but you're going to be averaging 
15 feet from 80 and from 100, I'm oh sorry, 80 sort of four, four yards, about 12 feet. And then when you get out to 100, now you're averaging 15 feet. 16, yeah. Yeah, which, uh, you know, when you're sort of 15 feet, you might be making 20% of those. 12 feet, you might be making 30, 35% of those. 50% 50. 50 of those. Okay, so your ideal layup for you is, is the 60. You know, and you're playing that shot well. So that's where you're, you're looking for the ideal layup. So if you, can, if you can get it to 60 from where you want to land the ball, um, then you're going to increase your chance of birdie. But you can play green light shot off the tee, and then another green light shot into that 60 zone, which is you know, around here somewhere. Yeah. And then set up the 60. So, yeah, I keep trying to land 60 yards. Yeah, 60 yards is the 50-60 the yard shot is the one that you get really, really good at. Now, also when you've got a long par four, so long par four, and let's say just drive's just gone in the rough a little bit over here. Okay. Now, once again, I want you to start thinking. Okay, rather than just try to bash this as hard as you can and get it close to the green, once again, start looking for your... 16. Oh. Okay, so normally it's par four, you think, oh, I've got to get on the green, I've got to get on the green, and then you try and force that shot. Once we get really good at this, even from here, you'll just put it into your 60 zone, giving yourself the best angle, and, and then you've got the best chance of... And if, if it doesn't work out, the worst thing that's going to happen is bogey. But sometimes from here you think oh, I'm going to force this, I'm going to try and get this on the green and then you hit a, you know, you, you might let's say hit a hybrid and then the club turns over a bit and it's over here in the trees somewhere and now you can't get over the bunker so you're over here. Next thing you know you're struggling to make, struggling to make bogey. Okay. This was, I didn't think about to fit eight. Yeah. Hit it to the hybrid mm. nearby to at the green. Mm. You just wanted to get it. So when you did that that shot on the, uh, so you, you drove it on the draw for me that 18th hole at Thailand. What's it? What's it look like? Tee shot. Hang on, I'll get some. 